Dr. Zhang Fuxie is an assistant professor specializing in systems biology and epigenetics. He is a faculty member of the Plants for Human Health Institute and the Department of Plant Biology at NC State University. As part of his work, Dr. Shea studies the interactions between the components of biological systems. Of primary interest is how those relationships impact a system's functions and behaviors, particularly in the model system Arab Adopsis and in food crops. I study a phenomena called gene imprinting, uh, which is a epigenetic regulation of activity of genes. Uh, for example, uh, every one of us uh, inherit a one chromosome from our mother, one chromosome from our father, and for most of the gene, the, the gene from both chromosomes behave the same. So in another word, it's either both copies are active or both copies are silent, are inactive. But uh, for a very small number of genes, of, 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 of a few hundred genes, uh, one copy is active, the other copy is silent. So we call these imprinted genes. It is an epigenetic phenomenon because what determines which copy need to be active or silent has nothing to do with DNA sequences, but has to do with where they come from. So the, 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 they come from mother or they come from father. That determines which, which copy will be active or silent. I study uh, imprinted gene uh, using Arabidopsis as a model system. Uh, we know from the work done in this model system that if we affect the activity of these imprinted genes, uh, either by increase or decrease their activity, we can end up producing uh, either larger or smaller seeds. And so this uh, has uh, practical implication, you know, if we know which genes are involved in, are responsible for making these bigger seeds, uh, they can be, we can use them as a marker uh, for a breeding program that look for a higher yield crop, uh, or breed for a, a crop that has uh, increased, uh, enhanced uh, nutritional value that will be beneficial to human health. Ultimately, uh, we want to be able to apply this uh, um, discovery to the uh, crop plants that are important for you know, uh, human food pro production. Uh, so my uh, next uh, step is to look into the similar process in rice. Uh, we know that this uh, gene imprinting is occurring in rice, but that the, their regulation is not fully understood. And so I will be looking into whether, you know, by increasing or decreasing this uh, monoallelic, this imprinting, imprinted gene activity, whether I can, I, I can see these uh, bigger seeds and smaller seeds uh, phenomena that we observe in the model plant, model system. Ultimately, we want to be able to apply this knowledge to other important crops like wheat, barley, maize that uh, are um, so important for the uh, human food production.